Welcome everyone to part 9 of this series, where I attempt to get a gold medal or better on every Trackmania track of the day, dating back to the July 2020 release. Right now we are looking at my top ready track from February of 2021, which was Orbit by HTIMH. This means in this episode I will be taking my shot at the tracks from March of the same year. With that said, which tracks will land in the coveted top 5 and who will get the top spot? And will I miss out on any golds this time around? Well, let's find out. To start us out for the month of March, we have Hamster Maze by Mania Master TM, and it'll get us our honorable mention right off the bat here. Very unique track, and I wonder if this is where the uh, first of the month tracks have became kind of meme-worthy, like lol maps, because this one was certainly different from almost any other track I have uh, encountered up until this point so yeah i do wonder if this is where it'll start i guess we'll have to see next month but yeah thought this was a pretty neat idea and we'll have a similar one later on in the month made by the same person but i uh, i really enjoyed playing it it was something very different and very fun so yeah very uh nice track here by mania master On March 2nd, we have NASC Spire Garden by Ski Freak. This is about a 50-50 mixture between grass and road surfaces. And it was a pretty good track. Uh, not a top five worthy one, but uh, very good overall. Uh, the only issue I really had with it was the end. I would a lot of times over jump the risky finish. Uh, so yeah, just be wary of that. I had to slow down a, a little bit at the end just to uh, get in the finish, so. Risky finish could have been a little further or a little higher, and I feel like it would have worked out a little bit better. But overall, the rest of the track is perfectly fine. On March 3rd, we have Palm Beach Raceway by Stoops Keisel. This is either a full speed or a NASCAR track. I, I couldn't really tell. It's possible that you could take all this full speed, but you can see I had like a little drift there. And as well as I'll slow down in a couple sparts. So I don't know, it's either NASCAR or full speed. But uh, made up of all road sections, nothing else to watch out for. It was just an okay track, not something I'd really go back and play. But yeah, it was uh, just an all right track. On March 4th, we have Pure Zone by High Shagger. Uh, pretty good uh, tech track here, made up of mostly road, but there are some grass and uh, dirt sections in this one. Uh, pr yeah, pretty good track. Uh, just missing out on a top five, probably. And I'll be lucky to get a gold on this specific run, as at the end, I'll bonk a little bit on a wall, but we'll still just eke out the gold medal here. So, a decent track here from High Shagger. For March 5th, we have Hiking Trip by Super Noah FL. I would describe this as maybe a transitional tech track, but not your traditional one. Uh, it has road, grass, and dirt sections. Uh, it was a, a pretty good track, just missing out on the top five. Um, but yeah, very good. I felt like one drift later on here was a little off because you go from like uh, sliding on dirt and then you're supposed to drift and it just didn't feel very smooth it'll be coming up very soon here I believe it'll be this next turn we will be taking yeah right here you're already sliding on the dirt and then you're supposed to drift around that corner it just doesn't work out but we'll still get the gold here so overall a decent track on march 6 we have solstice by mimic tm and it'll give us the fourth place rating this month with a mixed ice 
uh, track with some road sections in between. Uh, even have a bobsled section here. Again, as usual with the recent ice changes in uh, the past October of 2022, I was very scared that I would not be able to get this one, as with all ice tracks. Uh, but uh, can be it by plenty. Not sure about the author medal, don't know what the time is for that. But the gold is easily beatable, as we will get it here. But yeah, just a very smooth, nice flowing uh, ice track here. So, nice job by Mimic TM. The track for March 7th was Mountain Dew Evolution by Bart Simpson 94. This is a full speed track consisting of road and ice surfaces. Uh, a decent track, I'd say. Not uh, particularly great, not bad. Uh, one section here coming up very soon. We'll take this jump right here. Oftentimes I would go too high and hit that checkpoint. So I'd either like to see a different checkpoint there, maybe just a ground one with no surrounding uh, loop or move it somewhere else but uh overall that's really my only complaint about it yeah, but the rest of it was uh just all right on march 8th we have luminous by nate zero uh, pretty good tech track again probably just missing out on the top five I know I, I say that a lot but but it's so close in the top couple spots that really any number of tracks could make it there if we have a slightly different opinion on some aspects of the tracks but yeah just a, a very good uh, tech track made up of road and some grass sections very late in it but overall just yeah a very uh, good tech track here On March 9th, we have Equality by A Shorty.de. Interesting one here, plenty of pathing to choose from. Here I went left because I saw the right side was ice, and with the ice slow down, uh, I thought it was probably not a good idea to do that. So I took the grass section instead, and here again, you can go left or right, so plenty of options to choose from. I have no idea what's faster. I'm assuming there is a path that's better than another. But this is just the route I chose, and it worked out fine for me. So pretty much went left all the way. Besides one point, I think I, I went right here through the loop as I found it easier than the sausage section to the left. But then we just got a wall ride, and then after this, there's a, another wall ride and a loop, and then a turn to the left will be the end. For March 10th, we have Valkyria by Saphiron TM. It comes in with their third place spot. Uh, right here at the beginning, I didn't really like this speed check. You have to hit the perfect amount of boost to make it. And it felt so random. I'd say 50% or more of the time I would fail it, which was rather annoying. And the only other spot I didn't care for was at the very end. But the rest of the track was so dang good that it still got the third place rating uh, this month. So very nice job by Saphiron TM. Not much else to say about this one, just a very good track overall, so I'll let the rest of it play out. March 11th gives us Mind Bending by Nova Terorsh. Uh, this is a tech track made of road, as you would guess for most tech tracks. It also has some like dirt strips inside road like that right there. Uh, not a great track in my opinion. There is no real good flow to this track. It is not smooth driving. So you can see this, I believe is the longest track uh, time spent on wise. Uh, nothing flowed very well. The turns just seemingly random. It just doesn't work out well. And at the very end, there is a loop that is not smooth at all. It turns one direction, and then in the middle of it has a break in kind of a different direction. You can easily crash 
on the outside of the loop. Uh, I did it plenty of times, like right there I even did it, just not great. And that leads us into another not so great track here on March 12th. We have Maelstrom by the Cuber TM. This track, boy oh boy, I did not have a good time on this track. Pretty much have to play in first person. I tried the other cameras. So many turns are just kind of completely blind. Wall rides in different cameras other than first are a nightmare. And there are plenty of wall rides that you just don't get the camera change on. So yeah, just a, a nightmare to drive this one. Trying to drift in first person, just not uh, what you want to see. And then there are a little bit of blinder turns here at the end, especially of this last one here. Just got to trust the process, hold right as hard as you can and make this drift here. Then we'll just have a long jump to the finish, but uh, just not a great track here. Wasn't a joy to play this one. March 13th gives us Momentum by Madu. This is a tech track, mostly road surfaces, but there are a couple sections of dirt and grass. Does that not make it a tech track anymore? I'm not sure, but that's the best way I can describe it because it's probably 90% uh, tech here. Uh, just at the very end, a little dirt and grass section, like I said, but uh, decent track. It, it didn't flow the best, but uh, certainly better. Some of the previous ones we just went over. So uh, could be a lot worse, but uh, yeah, just a decent track here. On March 14th, we have Race on the Clouds by Legendary Item. This was a very good track, probably just missed it on the top five. It was right up there the whole time. Uh, but yeah, just a very nice, uh, mostly dirt track. There is a little bit of a road section here with a drift, I believe. But overall, very good track here. Make sure you go play this one. If you are playing along, follow along, whatever. Just a uh, overall, a very nice track here. So well done. March 15th gives us our second place finisher, Snowland by Nate Zero. This is just a excellent uh, tech track. I, really no complaints about it. It flows pretty well. I didn't drive it the best, uh, but at least I didn't crash. And it seems kind of all you need to get this gold medal. Take the turns all right, don't crash, and you should be okay. But uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't drive it the best. But overall, I thought it was a very, very nice uh, track. On March 16th, we have Slice of Life V2 by Media Master TM. Uh, and another honorable mention, kind of the same similar vibes as the first of the month track. Like I said then, same creator. Uh, but yeah, again, is this where the meme tracks, the lull tracks have started? I'm not really sure. We'll find out next month. But yeah, I thought it was just uh, another cool idea, cool track. Uh, there are some parts to be wary of, like this turn here. Kind of need to slow down a little bit to make it well. Um, but then at the end is the other very challenging section. You have to drive down a very narrow strip of dirt. It's so easy to bonk on the walls. You lose all your speed and basically have no chance at the metal. But uh, yeah, very nice, unique track again. And here on March 17th, we have our first place finisher, Elysian by Carlberg. Yeah, surprise me just as much as it'll surprise anybody, a dirt track getting my first place finish. I've been liking dirt more and more and found this track to be extremely well made. This flows perfectly. It's just, uh, yeah, just a very, very good track. So a surprise to me that a dirt track could possibly come out on top, but uh, here it is.
Very crowded in the top spots in the middle of this month because on March 18th, we have Retro Drift by Jack18 getting the fifth place uh, track this month. Uh, a very nice, short, sweet tech track. I really love the flow on this one. It was like one turn, a drift. Immediate next turn, a drift. It, it was just really awesome to play. Had a lot of fun playing it. It just felt very good. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Retro Drift by Jack18. On March 19th, we have Collapse C by Tobolix. Uh, pretty good track here, didn't mind it at all. There are a few spots that I didn't really care for, but you know, that kind of goes for most tracks. So, you know, what's the point of bringing it up anymore? Um, yeah, I thought it was okay. This turn here off the grass into this, didn't really care for, and then that drift right after, you know, was whatever. Really one of the bigger ones was this turn coming up right here. It's such, it just comes out of nowhere. You gotta drift super hard, slows you down a lot. Just feels a little awkward. Uh, but the rest of the track is uh, perfectly fine. There's not much left of it, but uh, yeah, just a uh, decent track here. March 20th gives us MTC Yucatan by BE Blade Runner. Very nice visuals to this track. Unfortunately, it kind of goes by the wayside as once we enter a little bit of a like cave system coming up shortly, it's just like pitch black. It's a little brighter on video, but uh, right here coming up, it's so dark in here. It's really hard to see where the heck you're supposed to drive. It was just unbelievable. Um, it did get a little better with the mod, so make sure you download the mod. It took a while for it to come in for me. It certainly brightened it up a little bit, but it's still not fantastic. You see, I'm breaking a lot, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. It's just way too dark inside here. So unfortunately, that kind of puts it out of any running for top spots. For March 21st, we have Aether System by The Real Psych. Uh, decent tech track here, very cool visuals on this one. Kind of what the like Neo Cupra tracks were doing, but way less visual uh, annoyance, I'd say. And funnily enough, Real Psych made the track of the day on the day I'm recording this. Uh, so uh, shout out to him. Just a uh, very nice tech track, great visuals, like I said. On March 22nd, we have Rustica by Clear Vision. And man, I wanted to rank this one high, but I, I just couldn't do it. There were so many turns that are just so blind. You go up a hill, you go down a hill, and then there's an immediate turn after, which you can't even see until you're right there. Like, there's an example right there. Went up a hill, had immediate left, had no idea. It just happens so frequently in this map. It, it's just, uh, it's unfortunate. It could have been really good if uh, that kind of stuff wasn't there, but there's just way too prevalent in this track. I mean, you can put as many of the U-turn signs as you want. It's just not going to help when you have no idea where the actual turn starts. On March 23rd, we have Haru by the Kraz. This was a pretty good track. There are a few sections I didn't really like. Uh, something that really gets on my nerves is wall rides that don't have an automatic camera switch, like this one coming up right here. Yeah, I don't know how easy it is to implement that, and I hate having to force a player to try to do it on themselves when they're trying to focus on where they're driving. So I'm not a huge fan of it, not auto switching there. And then uh, the next thing will be at the very end, so uh, we'll wait for that. But the rest of the track was actually a pretty decent uh, traditional tech track, maybe. There's a lot of full speed to it, but there are some major turns. But right here, you, I had to manually switch to first person cam. Otherwise, there's just no way to drive through this final section. On March 24th, we have MTC Oasis by Ripfish. 
This is a decent uh, dirt track. I don't care so much for the flat dirt tracks. So uh, really not my thing, but it is a, a pretty decent one. A little bit of a unique section later on where they have like uh, the regular dirt road with the lips on the edges with a flat bottom. So not like cup shaped, as you can see right here, we'll have that section. There's another one right after. So yeah, pretty unique there. Don't really see that ever. So uh, yeah, something unique is always nice to see. But uh, just a uh, decent track for me here. I'm Archoni Pith. We have yet another MTC track. This one, Green Canyon by Orego X. Uh, mostly grass track here with a few road sections to drift on. Uh, but yeah, just a decent one here. A lot of the turns, I, I don't really like transitions that go from like sliding on grass and then forcing you to drift. Uh, I feel like they are always very awkward to do. Like a lot of the times you won't get the drift off or I, I don't know. It's just not really what I like. So, I mean, it was a pretty good track overall. Just uh, not my favorite. On March 26, we have Siege by Yorsh Mia Veloch. Uh, I didn't really like this track at all, if I'm being honest. Very awkward drift here at the start. Low speed drift that I couldn't get it to work a lot of the times. Uh, make sure you jump off in that little broken out section. Otherwise, your car just slips out like crazy. Um, and then here, immediately a drift when you land to make that. And here comes one of my least favorite parts of the track after this grass section. We have a wall ride that you need to kind of like drift and then go down hard on. It just didn't feel that great. Here I switched camera because going around this turn was very difficult in any other camera. Then you go on to that and get bounced into the dragon for the finish. On March 27th, we have Boxed FS by Entry Leg. This would uh, be a full speed track like the title suggests. It's a not traditional one though, as we got lots of road, but we have also lots of grass in this one to slide on. So just be aware of that. Uh, the second wall ride was really what uh, made me kind of dislike this track, as well as the risky finish was a bit strange. But uh, right here, I, I don't know really how to suggest to take that, but it does push you down very hard. And so many times I would just get shoved off the bottom. But the risky finish is coming up very soon after this next wall ride. It's not the first jump as it looks like. You have to go around the first area and it's behind it. So just watch out for that. On March 28th, we have The Chase by The Kraz. And this was a very well done flat dirt track. I know just a couple tracks ago I said I don't really care for flat dirt. But this one pulled it off so well I uh, enjoyed it a lot. It's not super flat either. You got lots of these bank turns like that, which made it more fun than just more flat-ish sections. This turn right here was the most uh, difficult one of the track. Very sudden right turn there where you can't really see it all too well. But overall, I thought the chase was a uh, pretty good track. On uh, March 29th, we have Freedom by E, Shorty.de. Uh, was not a fan of this track. It's a tech track. It, it just felt so random. There's not really any great flow to it, if I'm being honest. It felt like pieces were kind of just randomly thrown in. Uh, yeah, it's it just not great. It just didn't work at all, in uh, my honest opinion.
On March 30th, we have Green Washing 2 by Neil Ryan, a sequel to the Green Washing track released back in December. Kind of had the theme of just going around in a circle, and yet again, we have that in this track. So it's a, it's a fun concept. I can't see this going on too long. I can't imagine there's going to be really any more of this series. Maybe one more, but uh, if you're doing any more than that, you're kind of pushing it because it's kind of just the same concept over and over. But uh, yeah, it's still fun to drive nonetheless, so well done. In our final track of the month on March 31st, we have Hidden Cave by Salier Das Bouquet. Uh, walled in tracks, not my favorite, and it goes even further down when you add dirt to them. I just hate driving them so much. The margin of error is so small, any single wall hit and your run is over. And it's so easy to hit the walls too because uh, they're so close to you at all times. So just extremely hard track. Surprisingly, it didn't take me all that long, 15 minutes. So uh, I guess it's easier than some, but uh, yeah, just not, uh, not the tracks I like to drive. So I can't really give it a fair review if I just don't like the track style in general. So we'll just say it's okay. And there we have it, another month down and another month of gold medals. Still up until this point, I've only missed out on one in the last nine months, which is 272 of 273 golds. Again, the top rated track this month was Elysian by Carlberg, so well done by them. But we are on to April, and as the saying goes, April showers bring May flowers. Will the saying come true, and will I be crying in pain as I try to achieve all the golds next month, or will there be another month of domination? Well, you'll have to stick around and find out, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. As always, please like the video if you enjoyed, and check the description for links to my Twitch and Discord. Be sure to join my in-game club called Club 2D, and be sure to watch all the previous episodes if you haven't done so already. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.